zine making. It's so much fun. All you need is one single piece of printer paper, eight and a half by 11 inches. With this, you can make an eight page zine, believe it or not. So, how you ask? It starts with folding. Fold the paper hot dog way. Open it back up. Oh, that hot dog was so good, but I'm really hungry for a hamburger now. Good thing I'm at a barbecue. Now, it gets a little trickier from here. You gotta fold in the sides to that center line you've just created with your hamburger fold. Open everything back up. And one more time with the hamburger fold. Now we're gonna take our friends the scissors and cut a little slit on the folded edge right to the middle. Open it back up. Saying hello to our friend the hot dog one more time. Stand it up on its end and squish it together. Then fold all the pages together. And you have the skeleton of your eight page zine. Now it's time to draw. For drawing, you gotta open the whole thing back up again. And make sure you have a solid idea of which pages are which. Let's make a zine about shoes. Zine making is awesome stuff. 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 Once you're done drawing whatever you want, truly, literally, anything you want, that's the beauty of a zine. All you gotta do is prop it back up again, squish it in the middle, and close it up so that your front cover is in the front. Then you can flip through. Shoes are a good thing to have. They help you walk on stuff, like broken glass, no problem. Shoes come in different colors. There's a green shoe. They also come in many different shapes. A high heel, a slipper, a sandal. They can be hard to tie, especially if you're a four-year-old. But for that, there's hook and loop closures. Don't say Velcro, it's a trademark. So don't forget your shoes. That's how easy it is to make an eight page zine.